Hey guys, this is Harry, all the way from the UK, and you're watching As <laughs> This video is sponsored by Chromebook. Um, as you guys know, there's been a lot of change with me and my family with choosing this new career path that I'm taking. You know, there's entrepreneurship, speaking, getting back to football with, you know, helping kids and building this brand and making YouTube videos for you guys. And it's caused a lot of like uh, things in our household. Um, so me and Charlotte have been speaking about um, me moving out and finding my own space. Originally, I wanted to hop up and just buy my own office space, but she made a good analogy, like when I was playing ball, I would watch my, some of my favorite players and imitate their game, imitate what they do in practice so I can eventually be a great player. And we thought that this would be a good approach to me getting my own office space. So the space that I'm in now is where Charlotte's sister and her husband run their business. They started an Instagram about seven years ago called Dogs of Instagram, where they masked millions and millions of followers. They started a business off of it called Lucy & Co, where they make dog apparel, they make leashes, dog vests, dog bandanas, they make everything. And we thought it would be good for me to come here, watch what they do, how they run their business, so I can learn those traits and put them into my own self um, as I'm building this brand and this business that I've been working my butt off on. One thing that has helped me been so productive with this process of moving into this office space and making sure that I'm organized with everything is my Chromebook. Oh, you guys have seen me talk about Chromebooks before. Chromebook is a device that helps you get things done more efficiently, more effectively. With building this brand, it takes a lot. I have a lot of thoughts. I have a lot of things that I wanna get out and feed and share to the world. And with all these different things in my head, I have to plan out you know, how I'm gonna navigate these things in a flowing way. And with my Chromebook on an app that I found that helps me make a bubble map sheet like the ones in middle school where I can sit down and write out all the things that I have to hit in each pillar of my life, which are the pillars of my channel. So for each pillar, I make its own section on what I wanna talk about. For example, like I'm sitting here working on a bubble sheet now and I'm focusing on the football aspect of my brand and how I wanna train kids. I wanna teach them all the things that I wanna teach them. So how pain is temporary, so how I have Marcus running up the hills, how the pain is temporary of his legs burning and all that stuff. If you can just work through the temporary pain and work hard, the outcome that you want will happen. And that's keeping God first and stuff as well. The principles of hard work, like why do you work hard in football? Why does working hard matter in everything that you do in your life? And work and putting this on the bubble sheet just makes my thoughts a lot more clear and makes my focus a lot more sharp when I'm out there on the field or when I'm in the office planning on other things. And to my OG fan bam who have been here since the beginning, you guys know that I love writing on post-it notes because I always have a million different things running in my mind about videos that I wanna make for you guys, topics that I wanna talk about, merchandise that I'm making, all kind of stuff. And I just like to hurry up and write them out. But having post-it notes everywhere can sometimes drive me crazy because they can get lost, they get messed up. I just scribble them on everywhere. They just get all over the place. And on my Chromebook, there's a notes section where I can use my stylus and write on my notes and all the things that they have going on in my head write them out, put them in a folder to where I never have to worry about them being lost. And that's something that's been huge for me with moving over here in this office and coming up with ideas for you guys as well. And I know starting this self-brand is something that you have to be passionate about and making sure that everything you're doing, you're doing it with a pure heart, a pure mind, and you're doing it because you truly do love it. And I know that with making these videos, communicating with you guys, um, it's something that I truly have a passion for. But the thing that I've been working on the most to master my craft in 
I've been passionate about for a long time throughout my entire life. I've done it before and I wasn't good at it, but I did it out of pure faith and just doing something that I know God has um, gave me a gift um, with yeah, my actually, voice. Why don't we go ahead and stop because I want to bring up Cedric up here, uh, Thompson, that we selected in the uh, fifth round, 150 pick. And the reason I'm bringing him up here to talk about his values is that this guy, when I interviewed him, you talk about a person that really led his life, led his teammates, was a, a phenomenal leader in the locker room. Out of the 30 visits that came around our building, this is the one guy that stuck out to me that had his life together both on and off the field. And he pulled people along with him. I respected him for that. And he really was a high guy, and, and I'm so glad we took him. And he's really redefined his life and figuring out where he wants to go. So Cedric Thompson, I want to introduce you. If you want to just share a little bit about your background story, yeah, I appreciate it. When you think about your core, man, your core is like, like what's in you, bro? Like, what gets you up and drives you every single day? So my first core value is God. Well, when I think of God, God is ultimately the reason why I am here. But I'm here because of the faith and love that I have for God and what he's done, done for me in my life. So when I think about peace, there's no... There is honestly nothing better than being out on a field full of grass. <laughs> it reminds me so much of, you know, back in my playing days, being on the field and just smelling the grass, seeing the wind blow and just, I don't know, there's nothing like it. There's people out here and when I'm walking around practicing, they stare like, what the heck is this dude doing? He's with a camera and a Chromebook and he's out here talking to himself, but like anything, uh, you put the work in, you'll be good at it. Like when I first started speaking, when I spoke to the Miami Hurricanes, I wasn't that good. Like I truly just took that opportunity uh, and I took a leap of faith of just talking about things that uh, that were important to me, which were my core values. And now it's trying to implement the things that are important to me to give out to the world. And out here on the field is where I do my practice. My Chromebook has been absolutely phenomenal with helping me with practice because it has offline access. And with offline access, all the notes that I take on speaking, all the things that I'm doing uh, to prepare, I can get those prepared with Wi-Fi and then come out here and practice. I have some of my favorite speakers that I like to watch, like Michael Todd, Steve Furtick, Will Smith, who all I aspire to be like and want to learn from them. So out here with the offline access, I can watch their videos and study them and see the things that they're doing with their hands, their facial expressions, their tone of voice when they're speaking. Um, these are all things that I take into account. Um, and I'm able to practice out here on the field, uh, on the football field, on the battlefield, whatever you want to call it. I'm gonna call it the battlefield because this is a place where, you know, I've done a lot of other things. This is where I trained when I got released from the Vikings, this part. This is where I trained when I popped my hamstring being with the Bengals. This is where I'm gonna train kids. This is where I have Marcus run up the hills. This is where me and Charlotte have worked out it after she had Maddie to so she can get back into shape from, you know, having her. Just being out here and being able to practice uh, with all my notes, all my video, is everything is in here and I'm able to execute on all that without having a bunch of notebooks or trying to memor memorize, you know, what Stephen Furtick said or what Michael Todd said or what Will Smith said and it's just been like hands down the key to me becoming a better speaker but yeah so uh I've had a long day it is hot out here in Minnesota like I told you I'm never gonna complain about the heat because it's cold for 10 months of the year so I'm gonna enjoy these two months but it is hot as heck out here I'm out here sweating speaking people looking at me crazy but like I said today's been a long day and I have to make sure that I'm executing on my once a week quality time with Charlotte. So it's time for me to probably pack up and head home. Can you not eat the controller, please? Are you trying to play Fortnite, baby? No. Nikki. We had a change of plans. Tonight was supposed to be me and Charlotte's quality time date night event but we've been bombarded. My cousin Marcus and Keegan, Charlotte's brother, are staying the night at our house tonight because they needed something to do. And something to do is literally like probably playing Fortnite. That's about it. Marcus is over here looking at cleats. He's been shopping for cleats for a long time because we're working on getting him to stay out here for a senior year to play football and possibly be the first one to play 
football in college and his family, but that's a whole other story. We'll get to that later on. But we live right around the corner from a famous, well-known spot in Minneapolis, Minnesota called Sebastian Joe's. If you're from Minnesota, you know what it is. This is ice cream spot. Everybody loves it. So I guess me and Charlotte's quality time is going to be... Taking all the kids. Yeah, taking all the kids. I like ice cream. Huh? Bro. How you feel about it, bro? Oreo. Oreo's the best flavor. Don't add me. <gasps> Oh, you got your ice cream shade on, Mama. Hey, how do you feel about it? Like said, said, we are on our way to Sebastian Joe's. It's arguably the best ice cream spot in Minneapolis, and we have a lot of top notch ice cream shops here in the Twin Cities. <laughs> place is like always super duper crowded like there's like a place where you can go and lounge but that was packed and then they have seats in front of the ice cream shop but that was packed so we just walking back home and gonna have a good night with the boys and the gal and the wifey and call it a day or a night so yeah can you say bye can you say bye can you say bye Ha, 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 ha.